son. Let's talk about why Triple G is so overrated. Let's go. Oh, DZ. Thinking this a game, but it ain't a joke. We about to cook, so we want to smoke. Money ain't a thing. What's your net worth? It's the pretty boy sports network. 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 What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your man, Pretty Boy OD, back with another one. This time, we're going to talk about the motherfucking myth of Triple G, Gennady Golovkin, the most overhyped, well, I ain't going to say the most, but an overhyped fighter from HBO, you know, um, they tried to make him out to be another monster. He's not a monster. Um, you know, he's Doug Charlo. You know, and I mean, he ran through the HBO fighters. I give him that much credit. And early on, you know, he he was a threat. But let's 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 break some shit down and let's break down old media and how they hype Triple G up and how they treat him different compared to other fighters. So he went through HBO and he beat their stable of fighters, which weren't much. They were like all C-list fighters, and um, there was a cold war with PBC and um, Top Rank. AKA HBO, Showtime, and um, all that. But, which it kind of still is, but kind of, it's cooled off. But um, he wouldn't fight Showtime fighters. And they said he had no one else to fight. So they were like, all right, fight Andre Ward. You know, meet him at a catchway. He going to come down, you come up. Yeah, no ward, no ward, no ward. That don't sound like a monster to me. A monster going to fight everybody. A monster is someone that people run from, not run to. You know, so Andre went up and beat a real monster in Kovalev and, you know, made him quit. <clears throat> but yet, Triple G, oh, make Floyd come up and I'll fight Floyd Mayweather because he's smaller and I'm bigger. Make Canelo come up, which I do think he beat Canelo, but Canelo is a smaller guy. He's coming up in weight. Let's let's make him come up and I'll fight him. That's not a monster. You know, that, that's a creation. That's that, That's a facade. You know, Charlo's been chasing this guy for literally five years. He's this guy's number one fucking, um, you know, opponent. Number one contender for I don't know how long. He won't fight him. Then they try to throw the excuse the wrong side of the street. Okay, well, um, Andre is on the zone. He don't want no fucking parts of him. He wants Canelo. He wants Canelo. He wants payday. He wants payday. And we all know that because you did beat Canelo twice. That's why we don't want to see this bullshit. And people are trying to act like you this fucking monster when you're not. And old media has put you on this pedestal. I think, I think the guy that Charlo dismantled and Darinchenko beat him. I think he beat Triple G. Now, he looked good against Mar Marada, but I mean, it's Marada. Again, they're holding these fucking belts hostage. Like, Oscar was going to hold the belt hostage, but um, against Charlo, baby Charlo, but, um, you know, um, his opponent went over there and upset Golden Boy. And then that's how he got to fight Charlo because he brought the belt back to PBC. Uh, Castellano, he went over there and, and, and upset the Golden Boy um, whole shit because he wasn't supposed to win that fight. And Castellano went over there and beat him. So now that was one piece to the puzzle. Now Charlo can do undisputed. Big Charlo ain't that lucky. And, you know, Andre ain't that lucky. Uh, Triple G's going to run with that belt. Marauder's going to run with that belt. They're not going to fight these niggas. They're not going to get them the belts. Um, and Eddie Hearn, slick Eddie Hearn, sits there and watches you know Canelo disrespect uh, Andrade, which I'm going to do another video on Eddie Hearn's bitch ass too. His lying snake ass. You know We watched him lie on the brother Deontay Wilder when he was trying to make the AJ fight. They didn't want to fight uh, Wilder, man. They was ducking and dodging him, but old media didn't call it out, you know. But they'll sit there and call Big Charlo a duck. They'll call, you know, for not fighting the Mexican monster. You know, they'll try to say Floyd was a duck for not fighting Pacquiao when Pacquiao didn't want to take a drug test. But they'll let, you know, Canelo duck and dodge. But Canelo's tickets is running up because even his own fans are turning on him. 
But, you know, they'll let Triple G sit here and hold this bell hostage for all these, all these years and not fight nobody. And hopefully the Wilds cave in on his ass and, you know, they serve his ass up to Charlo or Andre because that's what should happen. That's what's good for boxing. So, you know, y'all make me understand how he's a monster. So, somebody in the comment comments, y'all can let me know. How's this guy a fucking monster? Facts. He would not fight Charlo to save his life. Duck. Andre, he ducked him. Wouldn't fight him. I don't know how long. Ward, wouldn't fight him. Ducked him. So, you know, make it make sense. I mean, what the French toast? Make it make sense, man. Like, I, I don't get it. But that's y'all's man. That's your man's. That's your man's. Triple G, a.k.a. Little G. You know, like Andre Ward likes to call him, and so do I, Little G. Because, you know, he's looking for a payday. But I think um, this go around, Canelo's going to watch him. Canelo on another level. Gennady's old, beat up, run down. I don't want to see this fight. Damn sure not going to pay for it. Um, I advise you not to pay for it. You know, there's plenty of ways to watch it. But, no, nah, I'm I'm just not. I'm not into that. Um, I think the fight's going to suck. And I think it's going to be a whitewash for um, Canelo. Triple G going to have his moments only because he's been in the ring with Canelo. So, he understands Canelo probably a little more than anybody else. And um, so he's going to have some moments, but it, he's going to get washed. And Canelo, with that to be great again, induct the Mexican monster. And the WBC is going to let him do it and let him get away with it. Because if you're not black, you know, they don't make you fight anybody. Because look at little Charlo. Now they already mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. How come he can't get a franchise? But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Just wanted to, uh, you know, throw that out there. Send a shout out to the LDBC. You know, my man Drew Titan sent a shout out to Dante's Boxing Nation, Blue Blood, you know, everybody, you know, supporting everybody. Um, and yeah, fuck with your boy, pretty boy OD, man. I'll be back with some more boxing content. Subscribe, like, hate, follow. Either way, I don't give a fuck. One.